All right. It was Kraken folks, it is I, CFK Kuro, here to bring you some more Total Extreme Wrestling 2013. We are currently at the top of March, the final weeks before WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. And, of course, uh, we have Raw. Uh, on this card, so far, we have... Oh, shoot, I'm forgetting one thing. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, we're back. I forgot to put the Debray announcement or the Bree die or mm, I don't want to say that. <clears throat> anyway, tonight's show we have Axel Rose of the Social Outcast taking on the Golden Truth. We have Ryback in the exhibition max max exhibition match against Stardust. We have Alberto Del Rio. Uh, starting up the United States Open Challenge against an announced opponent yet to be announced. And if my brother would shut up upstairs, that motherfucker. Uh, we have Charlotte taking on Alicia Fox. We have Chris Jericho versus Sami Zayn. And we, of course, have Brian Danielson's announcement. Breaking kayfabe right here because it's a very important announcement. And I will be right back. All right, guys. We are back. Hopefully my dog does not bark like it looks like she wants to do. It's going to happen anyway. Please don't do it. No. Let's wait a second, guys. All right, then. Let's get on to this show. I'm very excited Let's be excited as we get excited. Let's go. <sighs> the show starts off quite differently than usual. Instead of having the boring opening, we have a match starting off. The bout that had solid in ring action, but not much in the way of heat. Chris Axel, I mean Axel Rose, defeated R Truth and Gold Dust, now known as the Golden Truth, or from future, from this, you know what I mean. Uh, in 719, when Curtis Axel defeated Goldust by pinfall with not a McGilly cutter, after distraction from Hey C Baby. Hey C Baby. Axel and Rose are improving. That's what they should be doing. C, C rating, good. Backstage, Renee begins an interview with Sami Zayn. Renee asks him, How does he feel about his match tonight? Sami says that it is an honor to step in the ring as. In the same ring as Chris Jericho. He says that he was his favorite wrestler growing up and wrestling in Canada. Just seeing how Jericho went around the world was so awe-inspiring. Renee asks about wrestling in Canada. To which Sammy says, Well, it's hard to talk about my past and anything without talking about Kevin. He has a very quick rundown of their whole rivalry and injury. About how he is so hurt about what Kevin did to him and how he doesn't think he can ever forgive him. Renee thanks him for letting her interview him and wishes him good luck, look, Luke, on his match later on tonight. C minus. Okay. A video plays hyping Dean Ambrose versus Triple H at WrestleMania. Dolph Ziggler heads down to the ring with a mic. He says that at the biggest WrestleMania of them all. The show off needs to steal the show. That's wrong. That's not steal. So he announces that he will have a six man ladder match defending the Intercontinental Championship. He says that he recognizes that the odds are stacked heavily against him. That that's just the way life is. He says that his opponents need to but ask for the spot and win a specific matchup, and then they get added to the card. Feed me. Well, hold up. I should actually play that. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start when people have, um, when people show up, I should start playing their music instead of having to do weird transitions. Anyway, hmm. Ryback comes down and says that tonight he has a match against Stardust, who was in the match at Fast Lane. And Ryback wants to get back the Intercontinental title that Kevin Owens stole from him. He says that the big guy wants in on this. Dolph says that if he wins, he's in. 
and that he'll stay around to watch. And in a match that had some good action and average heat, Ryback defeated Stardust in 10.09 by pinfall with a suplex power slam. No improvements. A video plays on the Titantron that just has Bray sitting in his rocking chair in some bizarre backwoods with the date of WrestleMania flashing every few seconds. It ends with Bray's face close up on the camera with his trademark. Run. Jump. Okay. The lads, the League of Nations, are backstage having a meeting celebrating Del Rio's title victory and retention. They talk about how awful Americans are and how the lads are the biggest, baddest guys around. Del Rio heads out first for his open challenge with some random gringo. As the lads continue their conversation, the Big Show comes out and says that he thinks Americans are pretty great. And that he knows he is the biggest and baddest guy around and challenges any one of them to a match tonight. The lads argue for a second trying to decide who gets the face show and then have a rock, paper, scissors match. That Sheamus wins. We have our main event. Now Sheamus performs, not Sheamus, Barrett performs poorly every time. Okay, in a match that has some good action, average heat, Alberto Del Rio defeated Jack Swagger in 1120 by pinfall. Alberto Del Rio makes defense number one of his United, number two of his United States title. Why is Zeb, oh, Zeb Cole just Jack Swagger, right? Del Rio pushes Swagger around the ring with his feet. He says that this is a pathetic American. This is supposed to be an all-American, a real American. This is why America is such an awful place. This is why America is the joke of the world. Because you're all pathetic. I took out your hero, John Cena, with nothing but a kick to the head. I took out your fake Mexican, Galisto. I'll fight anyone who wants it. Because I get paid extra for title defenses. So America, who do you have... They're delusional enough to think you want a real American? Woo. And I challenge you for that title at WrestleMania because you do not disrespect the country an Olympic gold medal. The team stared down each other with Kirk pointing at the WrestleMania sign as we head for the I want to do that so badly. <laughs> I've been waiting all day to do that. All day for the bum bada bum bada bum bada bum bum bada bum bada bum bada bum bum bada bum bada bum bada bum bum bada bum bada bum 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 angle. Okay, yeah. I'm a big angle fan. I've always been a big angle fan. I like Kurt Angle. Kurt the Hurt Angle. Anyway, yep. There it goes. Kurt Angle versus Alberto Del Rio at WrestleMania. Because I wanted to see that. But no, they gave the belt to Kalisto, who did nothing except fight Ryback on the pre show. Even though I like Ryback, that's like, really? And then the match wasn't even that great. They had a better match later on. But anyway, that's a, that's, that's a gripe video, which I'm not doing. I don't do those. I'm too cool for that. I'm not too cool for that. Anyways, also, that's this. Anyway, whatever. <sighs> Okay, composure. The commentary team put over Angle's return and challenge. Simple enough. Flair and Charlotte make an elaborate entrance. And a match that has some good action, but not much in the way of heat. Charlotte defeated Alicia Fox in 627 by p submission with a figure eight. Nigga, it's a figure eight. Of course, Charlotte would be better off without Flair, which I don't get, even though he does good work at ringside. Like, how does that work? Holding back. Bonus from Arn. Good job, Arnie. 
<clears throat> As Charlotte begins to head back to her locker room, Becky Lynch comes down the ramp with a mic and starts to berate the cowardly Charlotte. Before she really gets it going though, Sasha Banks comes out and takes the mic from her and shoves her down to do her own trash talking. Almost immediately, the two start to brawl and Charlotte and Rick make their sweet escape, wooing all the way backstage. Woo! Woo! Charlotte was superb without a script. Rick did a masterful job. Masterful. Alright. A montage of clips is showing. Set to some inspirational 1980s power ballad, which are of Dean Ambrose training himself for his fights at WrestleMania. He's taking it all seriously. Chris Jericho is shown walking down a backstage hallway on the way to the ring. And in a match that has some good action and average heat, Chris Jericho defeated Sami Zayn in 951 when Sami was disqualified when AJ Styles ran in and attacked Chris Jericho. Sami got some bonuses to our quality charisma. Penalties for both of them. Jericho for declining. Lowering the mood. Yeah, whatever. Eat, eat a fat stack. Anyway. As AJ and Chris brawl, Kevin Owens sneaks into the ring and clobbers, clobbers Sammy. They fight for a while until AJ and Sammy manage to toss out the heels. AJ's music plays and he yells out that they don't want none. Oh, they don't want none. They don't want none. AJ is improving his acting. Bonus for morale, gimmick, momentum. For penalties for gimmicks and momentum for AJ. The McMahons are backstage talking when Roman and the Usos run into them. Triple H and Roman stare each other down before H says that Roman, you had your chance at me, but you blew it. It's time for you to play second fiddle to your idiot friend Ambrose. Your match at Fastlane was no DQ and even though we all know you really would have beaten Dean, it doesn't matter now. Or does it? The big mans walk away, leaving Roman fuming with Usos just saying Us in the background. Us, Us, Us. Us, 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 Us. The Big Show makes his entrance. Well, it's the Big Show. Da dum, da dum, da dum. It's the Big Bad Show now. Ba dum, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum. Where's the big show? Okay, I'm done. Let's see. And a match that has some good action, never cheat. Sheamus defeated the big show in 418 by pinfall with a Celtic cross. I would prefer he hit him with a bro kick. How they had that bro kick. Right, big show's a heel. I keep on forgetting that. So he isn't, but whatever. All right. The moment that we've all James Caesar. Oh. The moment that we've all been waiting for. D Bride takes the ring shortly after the main event. The crowd goes through a thunderous yes chant. He says that he has some I spell that's the, oh what the hell is that? He had some news. And that it probably isn't great news to hear. He goes through his concussion history. And his results that something may be wrong. Him and his doctors aren't sure yet, but he thinks this is it. He says that he will have to retire. It's a very emotional moment. He starts to break down, so he shills. And the most pleasant meaning of the phrase I'm, I'm at. A child hospital, cancer research, and all of that jazz. The crowd chants, thank you, Brian. Yeah. But, he pauses. I just can't go out like this. I'm sorry, body. I'm sorry, Bree. I know this is selfish, but I need just one more match. I talked to Vince, and he says that this WrestleMania, I can have any singles, non-title match with any opponent not already in a match. So for my last match, for my last WrestleMania, for the end of Dan Bryan, I challenge Uh, 
I fucked that up. I fucked it up. Way to go, Kuro. The Undertaker. Son of a bitch. I didn't put Undertaker on screen. Oh wait, no. Why would it be? Why would it be on screen? No, where's the where's the chat? Post that Undertaker right here. There he goes. You know as well could see. Well, oh, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna roll with that. Yep, Undertaker. There we go. All penalties. Anyway, Daniel Bryan versus the Undertaker is scheduled for WrestleMania. Is Daniel Bryan's last match? Will this also be the Undertaker's last match? Who will prevail? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. We gotta be here. We went up in 19 regions. I told you guys, anything can happen as long as you <sighs> believe. All right. Man, I feel good about that. I feel real good about that. You know how good I feel about that? I feel real good, man. I don't care anymore. There's no more spoilers, bro. That was it. D Bryan's love set. What's my email about? Ratings up, up, uh, down, down, up, down. This is the important one. Wait, oh, what the fudge? That was like a great show, brother. D Bry, calm, calm, calm your face. Calm your ass and calm your tits. Hundred dollars. D, D Bry, come on, come on, get two hundred dollars. There, you go. there it goes. Vince, you like money, right? I'm gonna just it's your money. Take a thousand. There he goes. Whew. Financing. How's money weight? We we how how do we do? So a lot of tickets. Show cost, you know, we making a profit. Oh, several thousand dollars. This is good, guys. All right, man. So that was actually like that's that was the big raw. Well. Okay, I almost died for a second. I thought, I was, I, okay. Anyway, oh Jesus, yeah, that was a big, that was a big raw. That was, wait, what, what did what did what did I? Nothing. Okay, yep, that was a big raw. It wasn't the raw after Fast Lane because Fast Lane was okayish. They have more things set up. What did Triple H mean by, or does it? Why does League of Nations continue to trash the United States? Will Del Rio defeat Kobe Bryant in a shoots and ladders match at Superfest? I'm falling apart now. I don't even know why. I, I haven't fallen apart this badly since since uh Since Shantae. Alright, folks, I'll see you later. Bye bye.